Okay, so I watched Devil May Cry Baby on Netflix recently, came out this January, and you know, as soon as I heard about it, I was like, okay, I think this is an older anime, did a little bit of research, Googled it, and found out that it came out as an anime and manga in the late 80s, early 90s. So right away, I referenced my handy dandy anime movie guidebook dating back all the way to 1983, as you can see there. So I was like, okay, let's see what this devil man is all about. And <clears throat> Akira is transformed from a mild-mannered teenager who likes bunny rabbits to a raging demon with a mission to protect mankind and an unashamed enjoyment of bloodshed. I was like, okay, I'm sold. That sounds pretty darn good, right? So I started watching the first episode and you're introduced to two little boys. Akira, who, like the book said, is mild-mannered, kind, sweet, and Reo, who is kind of soulless, cold, and not very nice. Anyways, the two are best buddies and then we fast forward years ahead and they have to be in their late teens or early 20s and Rayo comes out of nowhere and is like, hey, Akira, the world is being taken over by demons and I need you to combine with a demon and take his strength and his powers but still have a human heart and soul. Somehow, this all works. And I'm watching, I'm like, okay, well this is just wild, quite intriguing. Um, but what stood out to me right away is the animation. I mean, wow, did they not cut corners here. It is vivid colors, stunningly beautiful, sharp angles, um, yet still simplistic and minimalist. And I, I was loving it in case you couldn't tell. So I'm like, okay, seems a little bit weird. Plot's a little bit off, but I hate to say this, but good animation can go a long way. Sometimes you can just watch something mindlessly and just be like, this is pretty. So, I mean, visually I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. And so far this seems a little bit weird plot wise, but I'm on board. So after that things escalated quickly and I am talking drag, dr drags, drugs, sex, violence, uh, gore, it, it became quite graphic and um, I, I guess maybe some people who knew the original Devil Man knew that it was going to be that graphic but I hadn't realized that so I was kind of like whoa oh my goodness this is definitely a seinen anime which means uh, for adults um, not hentai okay you pervert <laughs> but anyway so yeah um, it, it was just really intense but you know I, I kind of liked it I was like okay they're they're taking a risk here um, but I hate mindless shock factors. You know what I mean? Like they're just trying to like, whoa, this is crazy. Whoa, this is shocking. Whoa, this is disgusting. Like I hate that. I'm like, it's got to have meaning. And that is why I thought Devil May Cry Baby was good, was because this became an, a, a very philosophical, emotional anime. And it has been a long, long time since I had such emotion stirred up in me. I mean, I'm not even denying it. I cried. There there were parts where I was crying and um and it it was just incredible to me because I mean, for people who like comic books as well, I just feel like people are trying to make money when it comes to anime, when it comes to these comic book movies. And so they do what's going to appeal to kids. They do what's going to appeal to the mainstream. And um, they are very often afraid to stick to the source material, which Devil Man, you know, was a very dark manga, um, very intense. And the anime show that came out in the 90s was much lighter, you know? But Devil Man Crybaby was like, no, you know what? We're gonna take a risk. We're gonna have wild animation. We're gonna have really graphic visuals. And we're still gonna make this like an emotional, complicated, twisted story and hope that people are on board with it. And if they're not, sorry, if you hate it, pan it, but like we're gonna do this to the best of our ability. So for me, Devil Man Crybaby was just so refreshing. Um, you know, it took me back to when I watched Neon Genesis Evangelion, Gungrave, Cowboy Bebop, seriously, some of those life changing animes from when I was a kid. So, you know what? I, I'm really excited because um, this was put out by Netflix, and Netflix is starting to put out some more animes. Uh, we saw Castlevania that came out recently, and I thought, you know, they did the same thing. I thought the plot was a little bit lacking there. Devilman Crybaby plot, 
awesome. Um, but Castlevania, you know, they they weren't afraid to be gory, be darker, um, even if it, it lost the attention of some children, and and even if it made it very f focused. Oh, sorry, I thought that my phone turned off. I would not have been happy about that. But um, yeah, so I'm excited because I think Netflix is is taking risks. I you know I've seen some of the other ones they've put out, Seven Deadly Sins. <laughs> Um, Knights of Sidonia, mm. so um, Devil May Cry Baby and um, some of the other ones that they're putting out, Castlevania, like I said, that are being a little bit riskier, give me hope that um, we're not just solely consumed by this money-driven entertainment business. So I'm excited to see what else Netflix has 